Java 14 was released on March 17, 2020. In this video, I'm going to talk about what's new in Java 14, what's deprecated in Java 14, and what's removed in Java 14. I am Nam Haming from CodeLava.net. First, let's look at the new language features in Java 14, which are most important to application programmers. You know, Java 14 comes with the following new language features. Switch expression enhancements, text blocks, records, pattern matching for instance of operator, enhancements for switch expression become standard, whereas text blocks, records, and pattern matching for instance of operator are still in the preview mode. Now let me show you some code to understand the enhancements for switch expression in Java 14. Uh, this is Eclipse IDE on my computer. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm using JDK 14 here for the project. And uh, this uh, program uh, has a function day of month that uh, displays uh, the number of days in a, a month entered by the user. You see, in this method, we use a switch statement with uh, several cases. You see, uh, this is a cases for month 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12 and uh, 4 cases for month 4, 6, 9, 11 so you can see with the classic uh, switch uh, statement uh, it's very verbose because we have to use uh, multiple uh, cases like this and uh, this is a uh, main program that uh, accepts uh, input from the user and a month from 1 to 12 and then it calls the day of month method and uh, if input mismatch exception occur uh, the program existed now let's run program now let's Java application. Yeah, we enter the month. For example, one. This month uh, has thirty-first, uh, uh, thirty-one days, and uh, month two. This month has uh, twenty-eight or twenty-nine days, and this month has uh, thirty-one days. Month number four. This month had thirty days, and enter any uh, input uh, rather than number. We exist the program. Okay. So that's uh, how this program is working okay, now. Uh, come back to the Swiss uh, statement you see here. Now let's update the this uh, switch statement using the enhancement in Java 14. With these several cases, we can uh, come back uh, in uh, one line like this. Case one uh, colon uh, sorry comma three five seven eight ten. 12 and we can use a, a row and greater sign as a, a row label like this you see and we don't have to break here so delete and for the case 2 here and for the Remaining cases, case 4, case 6, 
okay nice k11 we can uh, come back like this k4 k6 k9 11 a low label and for the default default case okay so we see with the enhancement and the new feature in uh, new language feature in Java 14 you can uh, simplify the code of the uh, switch statement like this you see and now let's uh, run this uh, program again our next Java application here yeah. enter man number Man number one. This man has uh, 31 days. Man number two. This man has 28 or 29 days. Man number uh, four. This man has 30 days. And number 20. Invalid man number, you see. And enter a character to access the program. Ram exited. So you see. And with the enhancement of the switch statement, we can compact the code for several cases for true in uh, the statement like this and using the error label like this. With the enhancement for switch expression in Java 14, we can uh, turn a switch statement uh, to a switch expression. Let me show you how um, we can uh, have return value for the uh, sweet uh, expression in days equal switch and uh, in the body of a case we simply return the value for example this case for the month numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, we return the number of days in this month is 31. And similarly for uh, case uh, number 2, 28. And case number 4, 6, 9, 11, 30. Before. Uh, zero for example so this is a switch expression that uh, returns a value you see and we pin out the uh, number of days and this man has days days Let's run this program again and we expect the same behavior. Item number one, you see, two, four, you see, and three, uh, zero. Is it? And uh, for the case that uh, have uh, multiple lines of code, we can use uh, a code block like this. For example, uh, if the month is February, uh, the number of days can be uh, uh, 28 or 29, depending on the year. So here we need to write more code. Uh, multiple line of code in this case okay mm. this else we need to have the year number entered by the user and uh, year mm. We need to use a scanner class as a, a global variable.
scan int here equals scanner next int and we check if uh, here divided by 4 equals 0 this he, uh, this year uh, in this year the man has uh, 29 days so you can use a new keyword in the 14 the yield keyword to return value for uh, case uh, block in uh, the switch expression u29 else we use a value 28 you see so yield is a new keyword in java 14 that uh, returns a value in a, a switch expression like this you see now let's run this program again Enter the month number is uh, two, and you see it asks to enter the number of year uh, two thousand. And you can see this month has uh, twenty nine days, and enter the month number two for year twenty nineteen, and you see this month has twenty eight days. Exit. Next, uh, let's understand the uh, text block uh, feature in Java 14. You know, uh, the text block feature allows programmers to write lengthy, lengthy string like this, string literals, in a way that is more readable and effortlessly easily. So you see, this is a string. Using string reader in using the classic way in Java, we have to es escape the new line character using the uh, forward uh, backward slash n character here, and we have to use a, a plus uh, sign here to concatenate the string to uh, have a or representation like this. So this is uh, you can this is uh, uh, very difficult to read and uh, uh, verbose because we have to use the escape and character for special character and the plus sign here. And now with Java uh, 14, we can simplify the uh, this kind of string literal. So let's, let me update the code. So to start a text block in Java 14, we start with the, the string with the three double quotes character like this and with a new line character. And we don't have to use, uh, escape character for special characters in the, uh, string reader. And we delete this uh, not quote. And delete uh, so with the text block feature in the 14 uh, string litter looks uh, more natural and easy to write. You see, and to end the text block in Java 14, we use a, also use a double. Uh, three double quotes characters. And you can see Eclipse warning. This text uh, blocks is a new feature and disabled by default. So click enable new feature on project properties here. Oh, the error has gone and we just have a warning. You are using a preview uh, language feature. When asked, uh, suppress warning preview to HTML. Okay. 
So you now you, you see the string reader for HTML code looks uh, clearer, right? And let's run this program. You see, it uh, prints the HTML code here. Uh, with the text uh, block in Java 14, we can use uh, special character line double quotes uh, directory in the literal without the need to escape. For example, um, this is a home page yeah, for um, Java. For example, you see, we can use a double quote character directory here without uh, the need to escape so that uh, uh, gives you an overview uh, some details about the text uh, block in uh, Java 14 next uh, let's understand the uh, record uh, feature in Java 14 uh, records a uh, new kind of type declaration in the Java language. It simplifies the coding of classes that merely act uh, as data carrier, uh, like domain classes or Pojo classes. Uh, let me show you some code to understand the record feature in Java 14. You see, this is a typical domain classes, domain class. Uh, uh, Pozo class in Java book with two fields, uh, title, author, constructor, uh, getter, setter, a method for the fields, two string method, uh, has code and equals. So this is a very uh, basic uh, domain model class, uh, plain of Java object class. This class acts as the data carrier. And this is a demo program or record demo. Uh, we create uh, three objects of the book class. In the first book, uh, Effective Java, is the title. Author is the social block. And the second book, Thinking in Java, Reels Echo. And the third book is uh, SMS, the first uh, book. And then we print uh, the three books and when we compare the book one and uh, book two book one and book three and now let's run this program we'll run as java application you see it prints uh, the three books object you see title author here and comparison of the book uh, one with book two is false and Book 1 with book 3 is true. That's very simple and uh, you can see uh, in Java it's uh, very um, robust. Uh, we have to write a lot of code for that uh, class that uh, carries data like this. So in Java 14 we can use the record uh, new type. So now we can uh, update, uh, delete all of this, uh, all of this code, and uh, thus you know, replaced by the record. Record book uh, with um, two uh, fields: string title and string author. That's it, very simple. And the Java compiler, we automatically generate the contractor get the set the hash code equal to string for this record. Yeah. We got a warning here because this is a brief feature in Java 14. You are using a preview language feature.
no problem. Now let's run the record the mobile web again. And you see uh, the previous class uh, looks uh, complex with a lot of code, but now with the record it's very simple, right? Now let's run this demo program again and record demo and we got the same behavior, same result. You see. Another interesting uh, new language feature in Java 14 is uh, pattern matching for instance predator. Now let me show you. You see, this is a very uh, similar use case of the instance of uh, operator this method check if the object uh, obj is a uh, an instance of the string class and then it uh, it tracks the first five character from the string and print the first five characters now let's run this new program uh, run this java application and you see it uh, prints uh, hello here yeah? The first five characters in the input string uh, if the type uh, of the object is uh, string. And uh, as you can see, um, with this classic uh, instance of uh, operator in uh, Java, we have to uh, have an actual cast um, here. This is uh, somewhat uh, verbose. And uh, lengthy and bright. So uh, with uh, Java 14, we can simply this instant of a uh, statement and, uh, by uh, assign the variable name directory after the type here string s, and we and then we don't have to you to have an extra cast statement in the uh, if body. You see, you can use the S directory here. We get a warning because the uh, pattern matching uh, for instance of operator is still in preview in Java 14. Now let's run this program and we will watch the same uh, result. Hello, you see. And uh, we can also uh, have more flexible uh, logic for the instant of um, pattern matching. For example, we can uh, check the length of the string directory here. Length greater than five. Then we it checks the first five character. Very flexible, right? So we can test else sys out not match. We perform to run to test uh, the first uh, with uh, string has length greater than five, and the second string. Uh, has only three characters and run this program. Now let's now the application and you see and for the first call it uh, prints hello and for the second call it prints not match. So oh, this is some uh, new cool interesting uh, feature in Java 14. The pattern matching for instant of uh, operator we can uh, write more concise, more flexible instance of a uh, statement like this. ZDK 14 also comes with some updates for tools and APIs, notably the packaging tool and uh, helpful node pointer receptions. And uh, other updates uh, for Java IO, non volatile mapped by buffers foreign memory access API and Java flight recorder event streaming. And now let's understand about the new packaging tool in the ZDK 14. It is still in incubator mode but uh, we can use uh, this packaging tool.
So ZDK comes with a new tool called JPEGKIST in the ZDK installation directory. And uh, uh, the JPEGKIST uh, tool allows programmers to package the Java application into platform specific packages that includes all of the necessary dependencies. And uh, we can use the JPEGKIST tool to create install program for our Java applications in native formats. Uh, for example, on Windows, it can uh, uh, generate uh, MSI and uh, XE installer on uh, Mac OS, uh, PKG and uh, DMG, and on Linux, RPM. Now, uh, let me show you how to use the uh, JPEG to, to create an installer program for a Java application uh, running on uh, Windows operating systems. In Eclipse, I have a Java project uh, for a Swing application called Java App here. This is a similar Swing application that uh, uh, demonstrates a search and short for a list. Uh, let's run this program in uh, Eclipse and run this Java application. Here you go, you see swing search and sort example. For example, enter some person name and we can sort and search. Now let's meet for example and click sort person and search person name uh John Doe. Thank you, see. Very simple, right? And uh, this is a project directory, and I uh, just created uh, the jar file for this application here. Double click, and we can also run. You see, now uh, let me uh, show you how to use the uh, JPackage tool to uh, create a installer for Windows, Windows operating system. So we open the command line prompt yeah uh, you can see I'm using Java version 14 here you see uh, the Oracle JDK and I change the current directory to the project directory Java 14 code Java app okay here we go here we go the project directory and now let's use a jpeg kit command to uh, create install a program for our Java application jpeg kit the application name is called java app and the input directory where the Java file uh, located is uh, this directory and specify the main Java file for the application is uh, code Java app not Java and specify the type of the inst installer is MSI and we specify the switch switch win directory chooser to allow the user to choose installation directory for the application and this uh, uh, switch add uh, the application icon to the start menu and this uh, switch win dash shortcut as an application icon to the desktop, that's it. This is a command to create a basic installer program for Zara application. Hit enter, and you see a warning using incubator modules. And uh, it may take a few minutes to complete uh, the installation installer uh, generation.
in order to use the package on Windows, you have to install the uh, we uh, to set and uh, this uh, to set uh, running uh, requires uh, .NET framework. Okay, so to complete uh, the creation of the installer, now let's check the project directory, and you can see there's a new installer file appears here called Java app last 1.0 and you can see item type windows installer package very very good right and to install our Java application we can double click this and you can see this is a setup for my Java application very nice right next and I choose a, a installation directory for my application next install So I think for the first time in history, programmers can create native installer programs for their Java applications with ease, very easy. And we don't have to use third party tools. Finish. And open the start menu and you will see the application icon appears here with the default icon is a Duke icon. And uh, on the desktop, sorry, I don't show icon on this desktop. No problem. And last click on the icon to launch the application. And you see, it exactly is the application I will uh, demonstrated. And you person, no, I mean, I mean, person Alex. Sort person, search person, name, I mean. Okay, very good, right? So that's how to use a uh, JPEG kit command to create installer, uh, native installer for the, our Java application. Next, uh, let me uh, uh, write some Java code to explain the helpful uh, no pointer receptions. So I have a, a Java program. This is to demonstrate the new feature helpful no pointer reception in Java. I have two class A and B here. With uh, class A has field I, class B has field J. And uh, in the test program, we have the method foo here. That text. Uh, two object references of A and B, and inside the body we have the statement assigned A dot I equal B dot J. And uh, here in the main program we just create a new object uh, A and B, and call the full method. Uh, note that this uh, is for demonstration purpose only. Uh, in a practice, uh, the object A and B can be known somewhere uh, during the execution of the program. And you know, uh, no point of reception is the most well known error in Java programming. But the way which the Java virtual machine reports a no point of reception is not clear. Now let me see, uh, run this uh, program. Uh, run as Java application. And you see, we got an error here. Java no point of reception here, and the Java compiler. So exactly that uh, that error happens on which line? Line thirteen here. You see, and you can see it jumps directly to the line where the no point of reception occurs. But uh, yeah, in this case, I don't know uh, which A or B is no. A or B is no? I don't know. You see, from this uh, exception message, it's very, uh, it's very uh, unclear. So, uh, with the JDK 14, we can, the Java virtual machine, uh, improve uh, the exception message. And so, we can know exactly uh, uh, more detail about the no, no message. 
the JDK14 can put the Nodi TMS to help programmers quickly and exactly identify which variable is no now uh, to enable on helpful no pointer reception in Java we need to uh, specify additional argument to the Java virtual machine so we change the run configuration here and under the arguments here we need to specify uh, a switch to the Java virtual machine uh, which is um, that's uh, double x uh, colon plus so code uh, details in exception messages so this is exactly the switch we need to enable the helpful node for the exception and then run and now this time the compiler uh, display a more meaningful message cannot read few j because b is no it uh, pinpoints that b is no so i know exactly b, b is no I don't have to waste or write a more checking code to identify which variable is null. So I think this is a cool feature that saves programmers time in debugging the code. That's about the helpful null pointer exception in Java. So far I've demonstrated uh, the new language uh, features that are most important to uh, Java programmers. Uh, switch expression enhancements, text blocks, or record, uh, but uh, matching, for instance, of uh, operator um, packaging to have for on the exception. And now let me uh, go through uh, the remaining uh, uh, changes updates uh, in uh, ZDK 14 very briefly. Uh, the next Updates uh, for tools and APIs in Java 14 is for Java I.O. non uh, revolutor or mapped by buffers. This uh, update has new JDK specific uh, file mapping modes so that the file channel API can be used to create a mapped by buffer instances that refer to non revolutor memory. And the next update uh, is uh, foreign memory access API. Foreign memory access API. This feature introduced an API to allow Java programs to safely and efficiently access foreign memory outside of the Java heap. And the next update uh, is the Java flight recorder recorder event streaming for better consumption of uh, data generated by the Java flight uh, recorder JDK14 introduced uh, this API that allows Java program to subscribe to uh, Java flight recorder data events asynchronously to for continuous monitoring monitoring of the Java virtual machine and uh, like previous uh, release of the JDK uh, in this version of Java, Java 14, JDK 14, the Java virtual machine performance is continued to be improved. Uh, the garbage first collector performance is improved by implementing the uh, NUMA aware memory allocation for garbage first collector. NUMA stands for Non-Uniform Memory Access, a modern memory architecture for on multiprocessor machines. In addition, uh, the G garbage collector, uh, GGC, is now available for Mac operating system and Windows operating system, but uh, it is still in the experimental phase. GGC is a scalable low latency garbage collector since ZDK 11. And uh, what's uh, 
deprecated in ZDK14. First, uh, ZDK14 deprecates the two garbage collection uh, algorithms, namely uh, parallel scavenge and uh, serial O because they are very little used but requires uh, a significant amount of maintenance effort. And secondly, ZDK14 also deprecates a port to Solaris and uh, Spark which means that we we be no ZDK builds uh, for Solaris operating system running on Spark and x64 architecture and uh, no ZDK builds for Linux operating system running on uh, Spark uh, architecture and what's removed in ZDK14 ZDK14 removes the concurrent max sweep CMS garbage collector. Uh, CMS garbage collector has been intended to be replaced by garbage first G1 since ZDK6. That also allows the ZDK development team to focus on GCC and uh, Sinandua garbage collectors. And ZDK14 also removes the packed 200 tools and east API removes the pack uh, 200 and unpack 200 tools and the pack 200 API in the java.ut.java uh, package. These tools and API were used by developers to compress and uncompress their jar files, but the major consumer of pack 200 200 is the ZDK itself, no longer needs it. So that I have demonstrated uh, to you uh, the new languages features in uh, ZDK14 and uh, went briefly was deprecated and was removed in ZDK14. Thank you for watching. I am Nam Haming from CodeZava.net. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share. Thank you.